good to have you back to the channel today the focus is on asset classes like uh, stocks options index funds etfs and bonds i will examine the potentials of all these asset classes e.g return on investment roi the risks and uncertainties embedded in need of these assets and then compare them with cryptocurrencies bitcoin in particular and in so doing you and i we know where to invest our heart and money more to unpack in this video grab a copper of course i mean a cup of tea and then subscribe without wasting your time let's begin with stock a stock also known as equity is a security that uh, represents the ownership of a fraction of a corporation meaning if you own a company's stocks you are part owner of the company and you will be paid periodically based on the company's set date of payment that's it so how much can you realize in return on your investment also known as rate of returns with stocks well to get the actual picture let me use this example you see roi also means rate of returns and is calculated by current value minus initial value divided by initial value multiplied by 100 to express it in percentage let me break it down let's say you invest 150 pounds in a stock and you realize 400 pounds after a year your roi will be current value which is 400 pounds minus 150 pounds we give us 250 pounds and then divide 250 pounds by 150 multiplied by 100 would give us 160 percent i believe you got the picture meanwhile this is key and you need please listen to this give me past and present data you will realize say between 8 to 10 percent every year as your ro high provided you choose a good company and i think you like to know how to choose a good company well i got your back you see you should choose a company based on fundamental analysis what do i mean i'm talking like uh, you need to look at metrics like business modes competitive advantage debt how the company manage their debt income statement net income would the would this company i mean the product and services still be available in the next 20 years and all this metric put together would help you determine the intrinsic value of the stock by the way i have produced a video on the subject matter you see the clip at the end of this video okay do we have risk in stocks market of course yes well you see according to historical data market corrections yes happen fairly frequently stock market declines are inevitable and the market is known to have crashed every say 10 to 7 years because of economic circles and at times because of bad government policies that's it okay let us examine the biggest stock market i mean stock market crash in history wow we have the 1929 stock market crash the worst stock market crash in history which started in 1929 then we have the black monday crash of 1987 1987 then we have the dot com bubble crash which started between 1999 to 2000 and then we have the financial crisis of 2008 then the recent one the virus crash of march 2020 was one of the sweet or fastest crashes within 22 days the stock market lost over 32 percent of its value <laughs> well listen to this as the stock market crashes do you lose all your money well again based on historical data and my own personal experience 80 to 90 percent of the time you will not lose money on your investment in the event of any crash unless you sell just uh 
hold it. However, the worst case scenario is when the stock market collapses and the stocks are wiped out, which is very rare. So, what am I trying to say? Is this is the stock price may decline, plummet, the value may be reduced in a short term. Historically, stock market always recovered, bounce back. And as a long term investor, saying the market is the best strategy. And when the market crashes, time to add to your position. I mean, to invest more. When there's blood on the street, buy more. Hmm. Moving on, let us look at uh, options. Yes. Options is a financial contract that gives or empower the buyer to sell other shares of stock at options start price at or before a specified period. Now I will explain the keywords in this definition. Strike price is the price at which an option buyer can buy or sell other shares upon exercising the option. It is a laid down principle. Specified time is the date at which option policy or option policy you and I implemented cease to trade on the market or expires worthless. Hmm. So what are the benefits of options? Well, I will mention a few here. However, I have produced a detailed video about options. You will see the clip at the end of this video. So, one, you can use options to edge your portfolio. Let me break it down. Options are a perfect tool for protecting your stock portfolio. You can buy option on your stocks like uh, you buy an insurance for your car. You can buy option against a long-term trade or investment and fully protect that trade or investment for market volatility. I mean, dramatics ups and down. You can earn a monthly income at least 3%. Oh, you can buy stocks at uh, a huge discount. Get paid to wait by selling cash secured puts. Listen to this. To inform you, this is one of the key strategies often deployed by Warren Buffett to generate consistent income. Coke is a good example. Let me tell you how. You see, by selling someone else's right to buy your stock at a predetermined price, you are paid a premium that can be considered to be a special dividend through an option policy. Warren Buffett used it with Coke and a lot of money. Okay, now, is there any risk embedded in the use of this financial instrument? I mean, option. Or what is the downside? Well, there is risk, but very minimal. If you do not have a reasonable amount of money, you will lose, you will not be able to trade option and realize good profit. In my opinion, leverage is not a good advice. Again, option is a financial instrument that requires a learning curve that progresses from basic to advanced stages. Otherwise, if you do not learn it, you will lose your hand in money. And the length of time to acquire this key ranges from say one to two to three years, depending on the individual anyway. Now, next is index fund. Let's have a look at index fund. Index fund is a diversified basket of stocks or bond and is created to mimic or match the composition of the stock market. Again, index fund is a tool to measure stock market performance. So why is this important? Well, an index fund save you time and effort, more so for the new investors who do not have time to, I mean, the time of researching several thousand of stocks. An index fund will quickly summarize the performance of the stock at a point in time. So essentially, index fund make it possible for individual investors, including new investors, to invest in the stock market without being charged higher fees and without going through the stress of picking the best stock in a single index fund. I mean, a single index fund will just do it for you. So, what are the benefits of index fund? Well, index fund are more tax efficient than most actively managed fund. And index fund like Vanguard 500 index fund, Admiral Buddha, uh, Chiku Simbo, V for Victor, F, I, A, X as in S3. Then we have Vanguard Treasury Money Market Fund, Victor Uniform, X as in Sugar. X as an S3, S as an S3, that's the Tiku symbol. And VGLX, X as an S3, that tracks 
read i mean real estate and we have the vbia x as an sp that tracks bonds and stock are known to have given higher returns and which in this one you are paid dividend which is automatically reinvested for you if and when you choose the reinvest option is there a risk or are there risks associated with this financial instrument i mean this one well it does not look like it you see if a member of the index fund did not perform better other asset in the basket will cover the losses next is the etf which is the exchange trader fund it is a financial security that tracks an index commodity bonds or basket of asset just like an index fund and etfs is also traded like stock on the stock exchange again etf can be regarded as say diversification asset portfolio there are several types of etfs available to investors that could be used to generate consistent income and to edge your portfolio bond etfs these are government treasury bonds state and local bonds called municipal bonds do we also have the industrial etf that tracks uh, tech, banking, oil and gas, etc. Then we have commodities ETF that tracks crude oil and gold. Okay now. So, are there risks embedded in this asset class? Hmm, not really. Just like index fund. I mean, just like index fund. If any asset did not perform, other class, other asset in the portfolio will cover the loss. And then, listen to some of the advantages. It's very you can assess it access and liquidity they are easily bought or so transparent diversification and then the little downside is uh it is not uh, the dividend is not on automatic pilot you will have to reinvest the dividend i mean pick your uh gains and reinvest it okay take a break sip a cup of tea we don't want to rush you all right you're ready next is bonds yeah bond is a debt contract or, oblig or obligation if you like between two parties the issue of the bond and the borrower and the investor who invest in the bond in return for a payment as interest on the asset which is known as a coupon payment what you are looking at Perhaps you do not care what I'm trying to say. Let me repeat that again. A bond is a debt contract or obligation, if you like, between two parties. The issuer of the bond, which is the borrower, and the investor who invest in the bond. In return for a payment as interest on the asset, which is known as coupon payment. I believe you get the picture now. Meaning the borrower is obliged to pay the investor a consistent and predictable payment within a set duration. Let me give you an example. Let's say a bond is issued by a company called Blue Diamond with a fixed coupon rate of 3% per year, maturity date 3 years, and a principal of £2,000. The bonds can now be regarded as an IOU contract between the issuer, Blue Diamond, and the investor with a duration of 3 years. Remember, the coupon rate is at 3%. It works out to be £60 per year. And bond usually pays out coupons semi-annually or every six months. In effect, the investor will receive thirty pound as coupon payment every six months over the three years duration. And when the contract matures on the set date, the investor will also collect the principal value of two thousand pound. And bonds like municipal bonds as tax advantage. Are there risks? well unsecured bonds are not backed by any fiscal collateral or by government and because of the credit risk embedded in the unsecured bond you will be compensated with higher returns however listen to this you could lose all your hard earned money finally let us talk about bitcoins you see bitcoin is a digital currency a pair to pair electronic system meaning no paper money to print or coin to mint like the traditional money known as fiat money and it is not regulated or controlled by the government and banks in effect bitcoin is decentralized 
and Bitcoin connects by eyes of goods and services through a well secured keys known as blockchain. That's it. So, why should you invest in a uh, Bitcoin or how is Bitcoin a better financial instrument and digital asset? <laughs> better still, what are the attributes of Bitcoin that other assets I have mentioned so far did not possess? Good question. I have produced a video where I detailed the reason why you should invest in Bitcoin. Go to my YouTube channel, you will see it. Nonetheless, let me mention two or three reasons here now. You see, Bitcoin and several reliable currencies are now being used or accepted as a means of exchange to buy stuff. And I agree with a school of thought who said, now it seems that Bitcoin will do to banking and finance what email did to postal services and what the internet did to publishing. Crypto tech is designed to disrupt the financial industry. Yes. Just bear with me. Essentially, this technology is set to destroy old monopolies and create opportunities for the masses. More so because the high liquidity associated with Bitcoin makes it a great investment versus. Okay. Please hear this. This is a disclaimer. Be aware Bitcoin and crypto are very volatile and this is not a suggestion, this is just financial education. Okay, is Bitcoin a good investment? Of course, yes. Well, let me relate it to this example. Let's see how much you would have realized if you invest $100 in Bitcoin in 2009 to 2010. And this calculation was based on when Bitcoin was around 63712 token so an initial hundred dollars investment and for over 11 years four months has gained almost eight million percent and will now be worth over seven million naira six four dollars wow and i think you like to hear about the this speculation according to some panel Bitcoin, yes, Bitcoin and crypto. I mean, some school of thought, including some panel of Bitcoin and crypto, argue and said Bitcoin will sell to say around $250,000 by 2025. They are what? Not mine. Is it possible? Please, I'd like to hear your opinion. Well, in my opinion, Bitcoin and crypto in general has a lot of potential. You and I could use it to edge our portfolio to some extent. More so because it is censorship resistance. I hope you find this video valuable. Okay, here comes the best part. Subscribe, like and comment. Remember, the goal is to generate wealth, build companies and then create jobs. Bye now. See you soon.